This is from my father, Gene Conley, from Strathcona, Minnesota. And I'm Mark Conley from Strathcona, Minnesota. Okay. And uh, he got drafted in uh, June 21st, 1941. And uh, he went to, was drafted with a couple of them from Roseville and that, and Warroad. Say, Mark, can I ask you a question? Uh, yes. Do you have documentation there of yeah. your of your dad's? Yeah. Do you have a bunch of documentation? Something we can. Well, I don't have the official documentation, but it, you, is this an it, article or something? Yeah, this is an interview that she done, and and it, it gives them what when he went in, and and some of the front, uh, people from around here, and where he went and was assigned to at, at the Army Air Force and so can, Fort Field. Can Delray get that to me, and what we'll do? I can give you this one. I can give you and send it with him, and he can give it to you. Yep. And then and, uh, what? what and we... I called. And I called the interviewer and asked her if she was okay with let me using it for this, and she said it was fine. Okay. So let's just you and I talk about your dad, and then okay. what, what I'll do is when I get it, I'll scan it, and I'll do that as part of the interview. Okay. Okay. So why don't you go ahead and tell me about your dad? Uh, well, I grew, grew up during the tougher times after the Depression, you know, and all that. And and they were, went in the CCs, and then from there they went into the service. And, and, uh, and, uh, and then uh, war broke out after you'd already been in, in training and all that. And Which war was that? World War Two. He was dra uh, drafted in 1941, so uh, in June of 41. There, it said so. And, uh, and then he left. He left the states or overseas, and I can't remember all the, the. But he went to North Africa, and he was in India, and and different like that. When he was, he uh, was in the Army Air Corps, and he was on a bomber. Fleet and uh, he, he wasn't uh, on the plane, he was a mechanic on the ground. He was in the Air Force then? Yeah, okay. well, it was called the Army Air Corps at that time. But, okay. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, he was, yeah, they were, he worked on B-25 bombers and, and we had, we had uh, made a gone through a a, a, a deal that it, uh, they were making replicas out of them so we had ordered it for them and he really appreciated that that it was a match of what they worked on when he was in the service and then uh, he left I, I don't know I can't check the dates on it but I know he, he said he was he was in for four years and 14 days and I know and he, he was o over there for like 34 months overseas so over there where uh, Africa to India to ever during World War two wherever they had their bases and that okay um, did he tell you any stories about when he was there uh, some uh, he told he told me more about the places they were at, you know, than they did the actual war, you know, part of it, you know. That he talked about some about planes coming in that were all shot up, and and some of the bad things that they come in with guys that are been shot and were dead, and they had to clean out the planes and that after they took the bodies out and that. He said it wasn't very good, but was kind of tough but uh and then uh but for most part they weren't in the real action of, of the uh missions they were they they prepared the planes and fixed them and reloaded them and all that when they came back from their missions and uh yeah it's i know he told well then he got he got in injured towards the end there and that and then he uh you know, you, they had the 
hospital or whatever in the Taj Mahal in India. <laughs> how do you get? How do you get injured? Uh, he fell out of one of the planes when they were working on it. So, so. did you get a Purple Heart? I, I don't think he, I can't say for sure on the Purple Heart, but I know he got a, a pension out of it. So, oh, okay. But I, I don't know if he got a Purple Heart or. Not. So how how did he get? Did he did he take a boat or did he fly or how did yeah, he get to these yeah, places? Yeah, they went. They left the coast in a boat and they went across. Uh, did he say anything yeah, about that? Our, it's it. Yeah, this article he tells about all the trip and that. And okay. All that. And uh, he was in Alexandria, Egypt, where they were stationed for quite a while. Then they're. They got some R and R at one time, and they went into town, and they went over to the I was in, I suppose Cairo or whatever where the pyramids are, and, and they took a picture of him uh, sitting on camels, and he sent the picture home, and his brother was also he was in the navy, and he also was there the same day, and and uh, took a picture on the same camels, and. <laughs> sent it home, and my mom, my grandma said, "How come you guys can't take a picture together?" And they didn't know they were in the same town at the same time. <laughs> so his his brother was in the Air Force too. No, he was in the Navy. He was in the Navy. Yeah. Wow. So how old were they when they were there? Uh Dad must have been around twenty one when he went in because he was twenty six when he got out, and he was in there. For Four years, four years yeah. so. and his brother was older, younger. No, younger, younger, okay. few years younger. And do you know what years he was there, overseas? Uh, yeah, it said he must be like 40, 43, 42, 41. Well, they got drafted in forty-one in June, and okay, I don't know. In March of 42, he transferred to Ellers Field in Alexandria, Louisiana, and then they, they were, they were uh, practicing takeoffs and all that off the carriers for Doolittle's raid and that, so. He was part of that? Now, I don't know how much of it he was with. Where, he was with the 81st Squadron of the 12th Bomber Group. So. Okay. And then all that stuff is in here, so. Yeah, and uh, Del Rey will get that to me, and I'll scan it, and I'll make it yeah, part can, of this interview. You can keep it. I, I, I had a copy made of it, so. Okay. So. Right. So, anything else you got to add there? Well, Mark? I know he was, well, he was proud of what, what he did, I know, but. Um, Is your dad passed away? Yeah, he passed away in two thousand nine. Okay. Is is his wife still alive or? No, she passed away. Uh, seven years later. Okay. And how many siblings do you have? Uh, I have one sister. Okay. Yeah. And you live where? Strathcona. Strathcona. All right. Anything else you want to add there, Mark? Uh, no, not really. I guess most most of it's just some hearsay, and I don't know, you know, what he told me and that. But he he described it not there a lot more accurate, well, I guess, from what I can remember. You know. So. Well, tell me some hearsay. Some what? Hearsay. hearsay. Me. Oh. <laughs> Oh, talking about when they were in Africa and they, they had to take be guards at times and they, they were issued rifles, you know, and they had a machine gun, a Thompson machine gun and and they were out on guard duty that night and there was something out there and they hollered to, you know, they it, it said he never, he never saw anything that was so black as it was when they were in Africa there in the desert 
they heard noises out there and they told them, halt there, we'll shoot, you know. They didn't quit and they just opened up on it. And the next morning when the lights came up there, it was some kind of a paper box or something that had gotten caught in something that was sitting there wet and making noise. And it, was, <laughs> <laughs> it had holes in it. So <laughs> they must have been pretty good shooting at sound. <laughs> so he, he pulled some guard duty then, didn't he? Oh, yeah. 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 Did he ever say what the food was like? No, he never really talked too much about food. I mean, he said, you know, some of it was, at times, was, wasn't so good. But And I know something about that when they first got over to Africa, they, they, they were under the British leadership there at a while. And they actually were wearing some British uniforms, I guess, so, for a while. Wow, wow that'd, be, that'd be something. Yeah. Because they were usually starched pretty good, weren't they? British pretty starched. <laughs> yeah. So, but uh, and then then yeah, he had some pictures, you know, of uh, planes that had come in. They were all shot up, and they come in on their belly and that. And he said he'd snuck a camera out up with them out there in his shoes and that and stuff some dirty socks in there so nobody would <laughs> and then so he had taken some pictures and then got them sent sent them home or whatever but somehow I don't know he never said how but and you have the pictures yeah there's some if we can find them he's got a whole bunch of stuff but I remember looking at them and you'd see some planes that were burnt up because they came in with only one one wheel on you know and they Landing gears weren't working right, and they had belly flopped them in, you know, and cra crashed them because one one came down and the other one wouldn't come down. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Some some pictures of the someone coming in the, the tail gunners they were damn near missing off the planes. They'd been shot up up so bad in the back end that. They were almost weren't in contact with the rest of the planes. So, what did he do when he got out of the service? Uh, farmed. He's a farmer, huh? Farmed, yeah. He farmed and that. And he worked on road construction at times and went to. He worked at Polaris for a while. He was a postmaster in Strathcona for three, four years. What was the rank when he got out? Do you know? Sergeant. Sergeant? Uh, I think it says in here what he was. Yeah, I can't. I don't know. Yeah, it's three, four pages of it. So. Yeah. Yeah. And we can read They can read it if they want to find out. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't have anything else for you. What do you think, okay. Mark? Anything yeah, else? No, that's fine. No, I just, I guess I got a picture here if you want to take it picture of him that's in his uniform so if you want to take a copy of that you know you pull that put it in front of the camera I'll take a picture of it okay I don't know here a little higher a little bit no, right there there we go good right. Got it. you want to take a copy of it well, Mark, it sounds like you're pretty proud of your dad. Oh, yeah. I know he, he always said he was in for four years and 14 days. That was something he always... He got an extra 14 days, didn't he? Yeah, I don't know. And then he got... He got... Uh, he got... He got back in that, and he had to go to Florida to get um, uh, discharged, or down there someplace, anyhow. And then, and then Mom and him had gotten married, and then they went down there. But, but they had to get married because it was only would take wives with; they wouldn't take here oh. girlfriends. So they had to get married before they left. So then they had their honeymoon down there after they. Oh darn! Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>